G'day YouTube. So from your intro you will uh, see I've got this beautiful Tool Pro sandblasting cabinet. And this is provided to me by uh, Super Cheap Auto for the uh, purpose of a review, review. Not a paid review. They've just given me a product to test and uh, have some fun with. So this is what they call the 100 litre sandblasting cabinet. Which has got the nice big inbuilt gloves, inbuilt light. It's just a bit of glare off my camera there but uh, nice big thick gloves with gritty texture on them a pair of them you got a nice screen which is all nice and well sealed down as I said it's got an inbuilt fluoro light there which comes with a little plug pack to power that on this side here you've got a vacuum cleaner port where you can connect up any size vacuum cleaner or dust extractor We'll have a play with that soon. This side over here, you've got your door. A couple of quick clips. Nice and easy to open. Swing that open, that's where you put your machine, or your, your parts in there that you're going to clean. So you've got a nice, nice big area in there to get things in and out. Here's your actual sandblasting gun. It's just a siphon suction feed gun. Two tubes down there are the uh, ones that help you get hold of your media, and uh, that's where it actually actually sucks the uh, sand up. Well, sand or um, some people use walnut shells, glass beads, etc., etc. Yeah, as for assembly, when you get it, all you have to do is actually connect the gun to the media pickup and the airline here, which goes. Out here, all that's there, all you got to do is put a bit of thread tape on and bolt through it. This one here is the air intake for when you actually got your vacuum connected. That allows air to come in down this boxed out channel section here and keep oh, like a flow through effect to keep it clean. Alright, so a couple of operating precautions they uh, have is 100 psi maximum. And uh, just keep an eye on all your things, all your, uh, make sure your gloves don't have any cuts or marks or whatever in them. So that all comes with the kit. All you have to do is plug the uh, plug pack in to run the light. It comes in a little box. You get a spare foam seal, which is just like weather stripping seal for your uh, door frame. So if you ever have to take the glass off, you can just do that. You also get some ceramic nozzles for the gun. Like so, a couple of different sizes. There's a big one there. There's a smaller one, so you can control the uh, amount of media flow. Some little feet for when you're using it on a bench top, so that you can get it level or whatnot. Instruction manual, and I believe there is maybe three or five. I think there might be five. Of these, which are screen protectors that go on the inside, that's what you can see in there, on the inside of the glass. So once it gets a bit cloudy and you can't see what you're doing anymore, you could just swap that out and uh, away you go again. When you run out of those, you could probably use something like uh, contact or um, like a clear vinyl wrappy style stuff, which would definitely protect your uh, protect your inner screen. All right, the manual's quite good. Um, Unlike a lot of the things I review from China, it all makes sense. It's saying that you can put 24 litres of media inside it. Um, shows you how the gloves go in and get clamped. It's just from the inside there. You've just got a hose clamp that pushes over the top of them, so you could replace them with something, no doubt. Shows you how to connect the gun, all the pieces. Nice and easy, so when you're uh, putting it together, Shows you how the gun comes apart and how to change the actual nozzle out. Max supply pressure of 100 pound. I reckon that'd be to protect that uh, fiber reinforced hose. Um, obviously, this is something you want to keep moisture out of. So, if you have a moisture trap or um, moisture trap or whatever um, on your air tanks or in your supply lines. You should really have one where the air supply comes in. A 
Mine's, mine's got a trap before it goes into the air tanks. And then it's also got one that comes out of the air tanks. But very little moisture actually manages to get out of those tanks because it's got a lot of time to cool in there. So, without any more stuffing around, let's get some media in there and uh, test something. Right, YouTube. Rest in peace, headphone users. It's going to be a bit loud. But um, I'll try and... Show you how well it works. Can we get our gloves on? Like so. They're nice and thick, but they should provide a fair bit of protection. Now what I've got in there is a Okay. Straight away you can feel it pressurize against the gloves. So what I will need to do is connect the vacuum cleaner's outlet hose to it. Um, for now, we won't actually turn the vacuum cleaner on, but we'll just let it push that excess air pressure out this side hole, just for the sake of uh, video. All right then, we've got somewhere for the dust to go now, for the air pressure to go. It's gonna go out that side and feed down the... Uh... Hopefully you can see that pretty good. Just like that you're blasting. It's not scary dust in the air. There's no sand on the ground. You're not getting covered in it. Let's see if I can hold that up so you can really see it. Oh. So as you can see, that does a magic job of just smashing rust straight off. This sand, media sand stuff that I'm using at the moment is called um, 18 slash 40 graded sand. So it's got no salts in it like a uh, pit sand would, like a sea sand would. But it's uh, some fairly thick grain stuff. I do have some garnet here that we will try in it. But, uh, I'll just do a little bit more and then we'll pull it out and have a look at the difference between the two sides. Alrighty then, so we've got it out. That's the blasted surface finish. That's what it was like. Quite rusty. Only absolutely no time at all. It's quite easily cleaned up. So this is an excellent thing for that kind of work. Thank you much Leader Superchief for sending it to me for the purpose of review. Uh, I'll leave a link to these in the top of the video description as always in anything that I feature for review So they're nice and easy for you to find um, You probably want a good compressor Like the one I'm about to review from super cheap 155 litre belt drive or bigger uh, To do this kind of thing more consistently uh, If you're only doing bits and pieces uh, And smaller stuff a smaller direct drive compressor will probably be no issue But um, this is going to do a lot of work on the um, XF Falcon paddle van project all the uh, suspension components and all that are going to go through this get it primed and put back on the vehicle so this is an awesome awesome thing they've done for me by providing this and uh, I've got no no queries at all in recommending it highly the build quality is really nice um, it's uh, relatively thick strong it's got reasonable latches on it the gloves feel really good in your hands they're really grippy 
Um, it's got a vacuum cleaner port and an air induction port. It's got a built-in light. It's got some features. Quality item. Um, I believe these retail for around the $300 mark at Super Cheap Auto, but click the link in the top of the description. It will show you straight up what it's worth. Maybe a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on where you are in Australia. But uh, similarly, I'm sure there's some other brands out there in the world that are uh, similar to this one quality-wise. If you've got a bit of blasting to do and you don't want to make a massive mess, this is the machine for you. Anyway, guys, thanks heaps for watching. Subscribe button will be up top right. Other videos will be in the top left. Links to my Patreon, links to this product, and links to my main automotive channel where you'll see this more often, uh, getting used, will all be in the video description. Thanks heaps for watching. Catch us on the next video.